So let's do a full installation of the Synology DS223J from installing the disks to installing that on the network. Okay, so you get a quick installation guide with it, which is very easy to follow. Uh, a few uh, very easy to use steps right here. So you can go through all of these steps and then make sure you insert everything correctly. So let's do that. So you can easily slide off this front part here which comes off and then it opens up, which gives you the inside to work with. And then as you can see, you just insert the hard drives that came with mine, or you can insert your own, of course. You can just slide that in so it hooks up until it aligns with the screws there. As you can see, then screw in the screws so that's secure. And then the same for the top one. There's little brackets here where you can place that on and then slide that right in until that is aligned. And also screw that in. And this can fit any two and a half or three and a half inch drives. If you're going to buy your, your own or already have your own, then just slide this back on. And you have a good looking Synology cloud storage here. Then you just click in the power plug and your network cable, then turn it on and connect it directly to your router. After a couple of minutes, the LED status lights should turn on. Then you just go to Synology NAS 5000. And that should bring you to the web interface. You can install that. All data will be deleted, but that's okay. Okay, so now it's going to install that and set that up. So this takes about three minutes to fully set up and then it needs to restart. Okay, so once that's done, we can click through, name it. You can use Quick Connect to access your media files from anywhere. Once you click through, it will ask you to create an account so you can log in from anywhere. It's very easy to create like storage here. It takes you through all those steps. You have all this flexibility set to set it up just the way you want it. You also get all these stats. So you can see how well it's working. So this is a really pre premium product here. See your drives here, how healthy they are. The temperature the drive is at and that it's healthy. You have all these apps right here, control panel, package center. So you can install packages and a file station where you can add files to it. You create a shared folder. Here's all these steps and all these things that you can customize and set up making it more or less accessible uh, and encrypted. And you can give all these roles and give guests roles. So this is where the uh, file structure is. I have business right now in the recycling bin. And you can create folders and add stuff to that. You can go in there, there it is. And then just add stuff to there. You can see that's now uploading right here. Upload queue, you can also watch that to see if there's any more tasks or what's wrong with them, canceling them as well. And now that you have this file system set up, you can also access this with SMB file sharing on uh, Windows or Mac. Here's how you set it up on Mac. Just copy the link into the finder and then enter your password of your admin or another user so you can access that on this network. And once you've done that, you can see the file structure within your Mac finder or on Windows. So you can quickly backup your files to that file structure. So this is a really flexible NAS with a lot of options.